Hello everybody, welcome back again. I'm doing another little update for Tom out of Norway this time. And uh, I'm going to be throwing on this veneer, or gluing on this veneer to this alder body blank for him today. Get that one going for him. This is the piece here. It's a three piece, but the center block is actually a good eight inches. So there's slight wings, you can see it in here. And uh, as far as uh, tonal issues and the majority of the wood, which is where most of that will be taking place, is in the uh, one piece. So not an issue, but we are going to be veneering it with this wonderful Anigra flame <clears throat> veneer. This comes out of the tropical areas of Africa from what I've researched and I have a slew of this stuff and I wanted to use it so I told Tom, I said I'll throw in this veneer if you'd like. Only because the uh, sample image he showed me had a flame cap out of uh, maple which I don't have any in stock, but I did have this uh, veneer, so we're going to do this. Anyways, what I'm going to do is prepare this blank, and uh, you can see how I do it. So as you can see, I've uh, taped up the seam. It's nice and tight. And should give me no problems once I... Look at that flame, by the way. <clears throat> when I'm done with this thing, it's going to look gorgeous. Not because of me, but just because the figure is so wonderful in this already. Once I hit it with the true oil after I do the dye sessions and stuff, you'll see. Anyways, uh, she's nice and tight and it's relatively flat material. I worked with saying eucalyptus bees wings veneer that was bubbly as all get out and when you have issues like that I use this glycerin mixed with water in a pump bottle, spray bottle. And I spray it down and I'll clamp it in uh, covering up both sides with uh, construction paper to soak up the moisture to uh, tame any uh, really bad waves but this is not going to be an issue with this one I just need to clamp a good solid piece on the top <clears throat> obviously I'll lay a, a piece of uh, plastic over it as well first and then take it from there I'm going to leave it I'm not going to cut the body out to shape first I'll apply the veneer and then I can work off of the center line of the um, veneer to keep it nice and dead center. So that's some really cool green happening there. I think Tom's going to like that. It's going to get gold hardware and uh, she'll look sweet. Alright, so I've trimmed back the uh, veneer uh, pieces and uh, they're basically the size of the uh, blank now. I'll use another uh, guitar blank as the uh, top for adding the pressure. Obviously, again, like I said, I'll be using plastic in between barrier uh, just so it doesn't uh, create any sticky issues with glue that possibly could seep through at the seam. <clears throat> and the underside will be left as is. I'll just prepare my clamps and my glue so I'm all ready to go. And I'm just going to be using standard tight bond. I might water it down just a touch, but uh, just for just for ease of spreading. I haven't done it before and it was never an issue but I just may do that this time and so we'll be on to the next stage of uh, gluing and uh, letting her sit for the day. Alright so I'm about ready to apply glue but I thought I'd mention a couple things. First, uh, one of the things I look for or I'm cautious of is the area behind where the bridge will be where you will actually see the seam. So I make sure that that is as tight as I can possibly get it. I use longer tape and I really pull it in when I tape it. I'm less concerned though I don't disregard it uh, from the bridge forward you're gonna have your uh, pick up then you'll have your uh, pick guard and then your neck so that seam will be covered so if, the, if there are any problems there I'm not too worried about that it's mainly the back five inches I think it is that uh, I'm concerned about once I've laid this down on on top of the glue and I have it positioned I'll tape the uh, I'll tape the ends over the end to keep it in place centered I'll take this uh, I'll take my black plastic from a garbage bag in this case and I'll lay on this chamois. I have two pieces. What this will help me do is it'll help spread out the clamping pressure so there aren't any tight spots and then uh, between the clamps it won't uh, give me an issue. It'll spread out the, the pressure nicely and give me a really good uh, flat surface to deal with. Uh, that's what I did with my bees wing eucalyptus and it worked out really good. It's quite thin so it'll, it'll compress really good too. So that's one of the little things that I do when I work with the veneers. So I'm going to start spreading out some glue and getting it ready. Alright, so I just throw down some <coughs> bead of glue here. Threw Tom's name in there so it'll be in there forever. 
<clears throat> and I'll start spreading this out and I'll make sure it goes nicely past the body line just so that uh, I know I'm gonna have good uh, coverage even if I had an issue at, a, at an edge I could easily repair that get glue in there and clamp it so we'll get going all right so we have the sandwich all put together we have the plastic garbage bag for uh, glue barrier we have the chamois and we have a body blank that's gonna do the uh, pressure aspect of the uh, clamping and this happens to be one of the potential blanks for Tom Scourge as my mistake Tom sorry for that it should be SK not ST that was my mistake anyways the nice thing about this blank is it has a slight bow in it it isn't it been prepped yet and this will in the center so as I clamp it it'll bring pressure in the center and as I clamp it down it'll spread that out really nicely so that's perfect that's what you want to do so I'm gonna get clamps ready to go and get this puppy off to the side and then uh, move along